Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do Adventure Man uh, from Image Comics, issue number three. Uh, written by Matt Fraction and drawn by Terry Dodson. Um, so when I f have you know got these comics, um, I thought, hey, adventure and good looking arts. Well, the art looks good, but the adventure part, not so much. It's a lot about talking and a lot of diversity in here that has little to no importance of this whole story unless it's getting different in the other ones but so far not so a, a lot of um diverse women doing stuff that you don't see but it's been told that they are doing that and uh, a lot of you know sitting at a table having fun right and and laughing and and eating and all that stuff with a little bit of adventure and the part of that adventure is not that interesting and this comic book is basically shown that um so we have our hero to be honest i totally forget the name of this 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 woman although she's the protagonist now why is that because we have billion other uh, characters that needs to be to introduce and it, we need to be told that they are important, although they are not. So she's here at the hospital, and I thought, why? Um, and she's deaf, right? But it seems that she can hear now in one ear because reasons. And then um, something is happening, and she needs to go there for, again, reasons. Um, so... Yeah, a, a cop is coming in because uh, something happened in the, I believe, in the metro. And she's just standing there and she says, I think I can help. So this fat cop says, um, hey, um, we were in the, in, the, in the metro, all right. And then they hear a noise and then there's all these bugs attacking people. And this woman falls over onto the track. So his buddy helps her and saves her and then probably get hit by a train and he miraculously survived i'm not sure how that works because if you are hitting by a train well, I, I believe you are you know street pizza right um uh, so he, he seems pretty okay but he is losing blood and then um so this fat cop says hey he's got a bracelet says he's a b negative that mean anything so the doctor panics like oh no we don't have that blood so adventure woman because that's her name now and it's pretty obvious that adventure man is just an um you know a, a, a lore right because i thought when in the first issue we we met adventure inc and adventure man but it's it's all about her so it's basically adventure woman now although it says adventure Men. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, so I still don't know why she is here. Well, we're gonna. It's gonna get revealed later. So uh, then she is. I don't know. In her head, being transported to a pirate ship, and Adventure Inc is there for reasons, and they are delivering some kind of a sarco sarcophagus of the Magus to its rightful home. That's the adventure part, guys. And there are pirates and skeleton crews, right? And they say, "R." Well, they, that's not what they are saying. And she's doing some kind of a blood transfusion on somebody, right? And I don't like the colors, by the way. And uh, yeah, so adventuring in this page, right? And, and more fighting. And it feels a lot like this is... Um, how do you say Pirates of the Caribbean, The Mummy, Indiana Jones, all rolled into one, but then without the danger, without the fun. It, it has a little sprinkle of uh, adventure in it, but, you know, the danger is not really there because suddenly, oh no, she is back to the real world and she is doing blood transfusion on top of the the guy that needs the blood transfusion and they are instead of you know into some kind of a room they are doing the blood transfusion in the middle of the hall without i don't know um, safety protocols like um, sterile room or something 
and everybody's clapping and cheering because she is saving the day. Yay for this woman. Right, that, that sounds ridiculous. Um, so this doctor says, who is also diverse, stay with me and keep doing exactly what you're doing. Right now you're, keeping, you're the only one keeping this man alive. Uh, so they didn't check for her that she has, has the right blood type, but she says she does, so that's okay. And then everybody's amazing by her, well, you know, what she's doing, right? Because everybody's quirky and funny. And um, say they're a chief. Claire, always such a big girl. Not the outside, Philly. Not on the outside. Uh, not on the outside. So it seems that she has grown like 15 inches. When did that happen? I don't know. Um, I didn't even know that was the case until the comic told me that because, yeah, she has ripped clothes, but it's not that she is being real big or something. I mean, right? It's just, I don't know. So they're doing some, um, what is a CT scan? I had got a CT scan. That was weird. It's pretty loud too. Anyway, so there's something on them in the brain and they are kind of figuring it out. So she's still a little bit deaf on the outside, but her body goes through some changes and now she can hear better, but not on the other side. I mean, do we really need to have a page about that she is not hearing very well on one side? I mean, what is the significance, right? So it's so weird. And um, so, and yeah, she has been grown for unknown reasons and she's having a, a flashback about what she is thinking and what happened to her, but she don't have any memory about it a little bit, right? And then um, you came home 15 inches taller, a buck heavier with no memory of your day and knowing you're a universal blood donor and how to perform a field transfusion. Yeah, well, um, well, it sounds weird when you say it. Really weird. Yes, it is weird because this comic doesn't really make any sense. It's not there is some kind of a threat when it comes to story. Just the things are just happening, right? And I don't mind if things are just happening, but it's just all happening in every... Well, just, I'm only three issues in, but it's, it's just, it's just raising questions and questions and questions... Well, wait, Marinus, they got to tell you. Yeah, okay, well, not in this book. So they are going back, right? What's with the resolution? And um, so her son is doing something on his phone. And um, mom, did we have this conversation? It says today, but you didn't text me today. So she's checking her phone. And uh, dad says, hey, we seem to have a conversation. Neither of us recall that. See? See what? Screams blank, kiddo. I don't... We, what are we talking about again? Why is this in here? Right? Is this... Is, like I said, is this significant? I don't think this is significant. It's just... It seems that the, the mad fraction is... The writer says, Oh, we need to have something weird in there so that people think it's weird and mysterious and curious. Although this has nothing to do... I think it's, it, I could be totally wrong and I'm gladly eat my words if it's actually the case. But, you know, this, this it seems like a waste of page. But then, like I said, I hope we get more into the action part. But then we don't because we are going to the house and we have, we are here and it's movie night. And her son wants to see Adventure Man on VHS, right? And, and everybody say, yay. And then... We have this quirky stuff again when people watch television and movies, just like in the last couple of issues when they are, are you know, eating with the families, right? And that's a, that's a modern trope thing, right? Modern comics does footsies and cutesies and funsies and all that stuff. It's in every fucking modern book and every character is always the same, except for minor slight differences. It seems that people don't know how to write characters anymore with real characterization, right? So, but then uh, on the movie, they're talking about a tower in the middle of Manhattan. And she says, I remember. Yeah, I was there because that was in the last issue. But somehow the plot says, you will, you will forget about the Manhattan Tower. But now you remember. Why did you forget it in the first place? Don't know. 
Moving on. But then uh, we go to somewhere else and this woman is trapped in this tiny glass and we have Brother Blood. Oh no, that's, sorry, the, the wrong franchise. It's DC Comics from Teen Titans. I knew that, but I wanted to make a joke, but because he looks like that. And he says, ha ha ha, look how helpless she is. And oh no, I'm feeding on fear, you know, and that shall free us from the ultra void that they are now. And then his his partner comes in and says, hey, can we... Can we be left inside this one, my Baron? Why did we? Why do we even bother, right? We've been torturing, trapping, and harvesting it for so long, as long as we as we ourselves has been here. I can't even solidify even myself anymore. What phantom, talking about this girl, feels fear? Surely the offerings of such small servitors as we are, but a thing rule for for darkest. I don't know what that means, but. It seems that Brother Blood here doesn't... He, he's not called Brother, Brother Blood, but just, I'm saying that. He doesn't like that, and he just transforms him into a monster. And he says, you insolent yada, yada, yada. Her fear was not mid-feeding me. It was you! <laughs> that was bad. And you can see us in here, right? And then... So she has been betrayed. I don't know where this comes from. I mean, this, this building up between, of this enemy is not really building up. I mean, why did he turn suddenly on his girlfriend, wife, partner, sister? I don't know. And she says, oh no, the betrayal hurts. But to feel betrayed in the ultra voids, to have one's heart broken in hell... Not even the Baron's own bride could tolerate that. So what does the bride do? She's spinning some hellfire and, and, or stuff. And now he's, now he's, he's dead. He's now, he's gone. And she says, Baron. And he falls down and she says, no. And she's crying like, right? Because he's been now brain dead because of her actions. And then, Something speaks to her, killer of men, bride of the beast, become my champion. What is this? Why did you just kill your your man? I, I, and why did he turn on her so suddenly? I mean, what? Why? I mean, it's you are you are lovers. Why did you? Nothing matters. I mean, like I said, there's no build up. It's just stuff happening, and um. And, she, and the creature says, or whatever, take my gift and bring me the head of, and the heart of the adventure man, which is not a man, but it's a woman. But, you know, we cannot say that because man can be women and women can be man, according to modern activists. And then we have some sketches and then, oh no, we have some quirky, uh, all, you know, these diverse sisters. Well, they are, like, let's say here, Rita is Brazilian. And she has a combat matting turned EMT. Maybe she was a firefighter. Yeah, maybe, but maybe not, right? Um, and then, oh no, we have Ursula, who is a Persian woman, and teacher scientist and engineer. These women can do it all, guys, right? And she wants to rebuild the world with a 3D printer. Isn't that cool, guys? Right? And then we have Regina, and she's an Indian woman, women and worshipping Hindu that works in poverty law. Yeah, those women doing good for society, right? And then, oh no, we have strong, diverse, fat, car well, she's not fat, um, Caribbean woman that, you know, bakes, bakes the Best friends, pastries in Manhattan. No, oh, she's a baker. Oh, isn't that cool? Because now they have unlimited food. Because women likes to eat food, guys. Don't you know? And oh no, we have strong, diverse character that is, is, is a cripple, right? And she has fiberglass legs and also does super science. And, you know, because she's getting strong. What, what the fuck is this, right? So all these this writer is, is, is saying, hey, look, 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 all these quirky women and they have all the same personalities and they do all good, right? So they are all fun characters. I mean, um, because equality, uh, well, no, it's not equality because men 
men still doing shitty jobs at factories with you know dangerous machines and loud loud noises and you know going to sewers cleaning up shit for other people or being electricians right or and other very dangerous and, and shitty jobs but not not these women no 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 these women are bakers and and scientists and and, and medics and and, and 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 activists yeah no Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.